I'm Colin Fitzgerald here with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at our 2025 400 TH East to West Dakota fifth wheel. Um, the Dakota line, there's a couple of floor plans. This is the larger one of the two. I usually try to make these videos between 10 and 15 minutes long. For those of y'all that are watching, this one could be tough. This is a very, very loaded fifth wheel. Um, I'm going to try to just keep it as brief as I can, but not just fly through it. So pretty tough thing to balance here when we're dealing with something this large. Uh, one thing to notice, I, I wanted to point out, I almost forgot, I'm going to zoom out real quick, um, is that on the front here, the graphics have changed. Forest River has undergone a, uh, a kind of branding initiative, I guess you'd call it, uh, with a lot of their products. So we carry various lines of their product, and they're all going to have that Forest River across the front and that FR logo at the front um, passenger corner. So nothing's changed as far as uh, production. The East to West is still a division that owns it and builds it, but uh, be aware of that. That's going to cause some confusion at first, but... Um, Companies are always doing branding things. That's that's this year. So east to west again, 400 th four seasons package on this. Um, we're going to start here in the middle. So this is the main entry. Two entries, of course, with the toy hauler, one in the garage, and we're going to just going to go through this. Like I said, not trying to do a, an hour long detailed walkthrough, but, um, but trying to show you as much as I can. So a tough balance. But hauler at the back, um, kitchen, living room here in the middle. This is just like the 350 th. Um, as far as I can remember, we, we sold one of those recently. Um, that was a 24 model. I'm sure something's different, but uh, generally from here forward, we're talking about the same thing. It's just a bigger garage on the 400. Up here at the front is gonna be where we're gonna start our bedroom and bath. So master bedroom, um, bed slide here to the left. They did a really good job really throughout this, but especially here with uh, the finish trim, making that look, in, in my opinion, very neat uh, with the wall panel, the style and everything. They have done an incredible job building out, I wanna show you this, at their windows, the trim. So wood boxes here, uh, building this trim out here, it gives a little track for your shades to travel in. Um, if not, these shades can go wild, especially when traveling, so I like that. Day in, night shades, um, as you can see, these are like a woven, I mean, almost like a knitted, um, in versus the old PVC or vinyl, whatever it was, awning type material we would see. So I like that. Uh, reading lights, as you can see there um, above, I just didn't turn them on. Um, light switch here, there are dimmable, dimmable, excuse me, uh, lights. ACs, you're going to see these controls throughout. This one controls this front air. Little built-in re recessed shelving there. Again, one AC here, it is ducted, as you can see. At the front, um, to the left is our closet. Motion sensor lights actually built into this rail. It is extremely bright, which I like. Sometimes these are very hard to see in. Um, outlet over there, it's prepped. You can little Dyson vac is what they're calling it over there, Dyson prep. Shelf above as well. So a really nice closet. Um, I like the little like a window pane look to it, I guess you'd say. They do a really good job. You're, there's no way I can mention everything, but of, of putting these little stickers to point stuff out. So you may pause the video as we go. That one's pointing out the fact that it has bedside outlets and charging stations. Um, to the right here is where if you wanted to put a washer dryer, you could. This is a table. It's included with it, like a folding, um, like a card table type thing for the hauler section. Um, I just left it here when we got the unit just to keep it neat, but that's what that is. Again, washer dryer prepped. If you don't want a washer dryer, then whatever. You've got a great closet here just to store stuff, but that's why this is vented. At the foot of the bed, um, more storage. Um, you've got a, a smart TV up here. There is sliding storage here in the countertop, which I thought was really cool. And again, that's, there's no step up here in, in our bedroom. I think we would expect that in a full profile, but a flush floor here. Uh, sliding door here. I like the way they do their barn doors um, with this particular rail. Uh, I, so far, I believe that it's going to be a, a sturdier system than you've probably seen. The ones that are like hidden and they're up in the ceiling, those can sometimes cause problems with, with that part pulling out of the top of the door. Um, I think, you know, based off what I, what I see and deal with, this is going to be a, a more durable system. Time will tell, but I like that we're trying something different there. Uh, sliding door, you know, in the wall. Love that because um, you're not having to deal with it coming out on the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Landing here. You're, it's not having to, you're not having to battle it trying to get into the bathroom. So the bathroom, you've got solid surface countertops even in the bathroom. A really nice medicine cabinet. So with this being a wide body, you know, we've got plenty of storage here. Um, all sorts of things. Again, I'm trying to point these out so you can pause it and read it. Um, every single fixture has, has shutoffs, which is really nice um, for service, or if you have a problem with something and you don't want to stop camping, just shut it off to it. Brass plumbing fittings. Um, 
that I feel like in the last year of plumbing fittings, I mean, every forum that you can think of, they have just taken off um, as far as the topic of discussion. So, hey, brass plumbing fittings in these. I know some of y'all, that's a hot, hot button topic. Try to point that out. Um, this is the shower that you have different modes. So you can come out here and come out there. It's got a you know actual hand sprayer. So a lot of different ways you can use that. One piece fiberglass. There's a shelf built into it. Um, I love this, this LED strip lighting that's starting to come into these. It's super bright. And then a skylight above. Linen closet here to the left with adjustable shelves, which I like. Storage down there below. This is for um, your toilet paper. So there's actually a magnet that holds it but it holds it down there to the floor. I just think that's a cool little setup. Uh, porcelain toilet, more storage down here below. That's your controllers for your tankless water heater. If you're curious what that is, and then just, you know, various shelving. But look how that's finished out. I mean, that is really neat. You know, definitely more residential style quality. Uh, and then max air fan in the ceiling right there. That's what those controls are on the wall. Okay, so we're gonna go back out. Nice grab handle here. Now that's important to some people. Um, step treads, you know, or like a hardwood. And now we're back where we started, okay? So, a couple things here that I want to point out on our control panel. So, one thing I love, I know some of y'all are going to say, man, I don't like it. This is not touchscreen, which I love. I like the fact that I can troubleshoot each of these switches. You call me with a problem, hey, get your multimeter out, get your test light out. We can test switches, see if power's coming to and going from them. I love that. So, I'm, I'm 32, I'm, I'm tech savvy, but I'm telling you from a from a tech, from a service side, I love this setup right here. So awning and awning and slide switches, monitor panel for our tanks. Does have tank heaters, of course, with the Four Seasons package. Various other lights, water pump is controlled here. Max air fan for the kitchen is controlled right there. Again, dimmable uh, overhead lights. Um, the inverter controls, I just dropped my sunglasses, excuse me. Sorry about that, y'all. Inverter controls right there and then our generator controls are here. So this is kind of command central um, for what all you've got going on in this unit. There's more controls here. So there's another AC control here, again, more light switches. Um, there's a lot of lights in this unit. I always try to, again, show these. You can pause it and read them uh, to look at some of the different things they're using. As far as the countertop's concerned, I like that this is what I would call, I'm sure this is probably not the name for it, but it waterfalls down the side, the solid surface. I just think that's a more luxurious look. Um, several different things going on with our cabinets. So, first of all, the hardware is awesome. Um, hidden hinges, magnetic catches, of course. Uh, these are silverware drawers, and they've got this latch here, travel latch. But that's really cool, making use of a space that is usually neglected otherwise. So these come down, you've got two of them, and they're finished out well, as you can see. I'm gonna latch those back. Tire pressure monitoring system, that's what that is there. This is the backup camera. Sink here with a sprayer faucet, of course, big stainless steel. Like I said, solid surface countertops and just all sorts of different cabinets. A lot of y'all want these all open just to see them, so I do it to show you. All right, I'm going to back up, show you more of the kitchen. Big kitchen island, two bar stools, huge extensions. And y'all can see these are thick, solid surface countertops. This is not at all cheap. Um, more stuff here. So, oh yeah, I love this thing. This comes out. I'm sorry, I'm in a tight spot right there with this camera trying to show you. This, you know, you could hold a paper towel rack, but it comes off too. So, like, if you want to take this out, they're calling it a kitchen caddy, and go outside with it. You could hold, you know, various, I don't know, paper plates, paper towels, cutlery, things like that. That's just a cool concept. I just appreciate that. Dual, um, if I could use the word, trash cans there. Cutting board right above it, so if you are cutting vegetables and things, you can drop it right into the um, trash can. Another extension on this side, so we got dual countertop extensions. Big refrigerator, as you can see, 16 cubic foot, 12 volt. A nice big GE stove and oven, four burner stove top, massive oven below. I like this spice rack, or I guess that's what I would call it, can. You know, small items, you can put small items there. I think that's just really neat and well done. And then a really cool pantry. So a bunch of pull-out shelves below, and these are deep as you can see, and then a bunch of adjustable shelving above. I think they killed it with their storage, um, giving you flexibility on how you want to set it up and use it. Notice flush floor slide, no carpet. Um, both of them are that way, as you can see over there as well. Huge slide on that side, nice big four-seater couch, um, outlets and USB ports on both ends, awesome windows, um, of course, tall ceilings, again, I love the way they've trimmed this out. I think that's really cool and really neat. 
And I'm just kind of turn around, let you see all this. Above the kitchen island, as you can see, they put a decorative uh, set of lights and then that decorative trim. There's the second air we talked about. More storage above the TV, smart TV here in the living room, fireplace as well. And now we're going back to the garage. So little things add up. I like they have a magnetic holder for this door. Um, if for some reason you're parked and it's unlevel or whatever, that door is not gonna be trying to constantly open and close. So that's our setup in the back. Around to the right here, this would be our half bath. So they trim the windows out in here, beautiful as well. They're not day and night shades, they're, uh, I don't know what you call it, just window coverings, but they still trim this out really well. Still got solid surface countertops back here. Medicine cabinet, little storage nook to the right. Uh, foot flush toilet even here as well. And a door to close that off right there again. We have a latch, magnetic catch. Loft above for additional sleeping space. There's our third air conditioner right there. Another, another smart TV back here. On this wall, a lot going on. Lots of light controls. Um, this is the audio. I think if I remember right on these, there's three audio systems. Um, one here, one in the living room, one outside. So these are like little base knobs. There's also one that's sticking up right here to control the one in here. Um, we'll look at those when we go back out. I'm pretty sure all three of the amps are on the door side compartment, if I remember right. A washer dryer hookup if you wanted to put a washer dryer in here. And now we'll turn back to the back. So a couple things going on. We've got the ladder um, for the access up to the top loft. We've got the steps for the rear patio system. And we've got the ladder for the exterior to get on the roof. So that's what all that is. Two couches here. Of course, they flip down if you want to make a bed or you want to leave them up. Remember, there's a table already up in the front compartment, uh, front closet. These are the um, like floor latches you know for tying things down they go into this track system which i'll pull a section of this uh this is just to cover that track system but they go in there um you can adjust that obviously to wherever you want i like the fact that it's adjustable sometimes toy haulers come with these in specific positions which kind of limits you on how you you know what you can do um several things here and you can pause that and read those because again i'm sure i'll miss something obviously with one man um holding a camera i was not going to attempt to set that up uh, would have been comedy for y'all, but anyway, there's a patio system. Uh, you can look up pictures. We'll, we'll probably end up making a video or separate pictures of that. But hey, one guy with a camera, that's, that's a tough thats a tough job. So I'm not going to do that. Um, back at the back, there's another door, like we said. Um, two entries, of course, on the toy hauler. So I think that covers it in here, but what I want to show you. Let's go back outside. <clears throat> oh, yeah, length and weight. You always ask that. So actual draw weight on this, 17,409 pounds and length tip to tip, 46 feet, 10 inches. So nice small unit. Um, obviously this is a, uh, this is a large unit. Um, the biggest one that we have on the lot currently. So I'm gonna back up and show you a couple things here. Just looking at the side of the unit, as you can see square windows, uh, those, that trend has you know, really exploded in the last couple years. Both, uh, both steps have the, excuse me, both doors have the big grab handles. The fronts are the more ride step above. Pass through compartment. This is really cool. I've got it set up already for you. So magnetic compartment door holders. This right here, I'm not gonna do it because I put it in with one hand, I could do it, but I wanted, I wanted to keep it up. This folds down and closes off that front compartment if you want. Otherwise, you've got this huge compartment. Um, several things here. Like I said, that was right. There's three of them. There's all three of the amps. There's your outside sound system. There's outside lighting. Obviously, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning and very bright. I can't show you underglow lighting, but that's what I'll, some of these switches and things are. I'm pretty sure that's what that's for. I can't remember. Um, hey, I'm human. I forget stuff. But outside outlet, outside TV hookup, outside spray port. Um, there's the subwoofer for the outside system. I just wanted you to see this. There's some more stuff there. Huge solar system on this. 860 watts uh, with it, lithium batteries, I mean, this thing can run air conditioners, multiple air conditioners. It is an incredible system. This is a new Lippert Jacks. So these foot pads, as you can see, um, this has changed. Um, operates very similar to the old you know, 3.0 system I've used for, shoot, a decade now, but a different system. Dual awnings, as you can see, slide covers on this. It's triple axle, more ride, uh, CRE 3000 system cooper tires on this this is an air compressor setup i did not bring my uh the key to it air compressor setup we have a picture on the website sorry about that guys 
I uh, will forget some things. LP Quick Connect right there on the back. Uh, you can see the camera on the back actually already too. Backup lights. Fuel system is here. I'll back up and you can see the unit a little better. There's where the ladder would attach right above that window at the roof line. Black tank flush for the rear toilet is right there below the uh, electrical hookup. And then there's your termination point right there in front of the axle. And I can see my waste, my fresh tank drain. This is why I have two fresh tank drains <clears throat> because toy haulers just having an incredible capacity for fresh water. Tankless water heater here. And then a lot of cool things going on here. So we'll start up top. Spray port, Nautilus system, you know, that's easy to use. Um, this is cool. They've got a retractable, you know, your, your water hose here uh, to make this really, really simple um, getting water hose in and out. So that's what that's, that's what that, my goodness, that's what that is. That your retractable city water hose is what that, you probably saw that there. So th that, that's a different setup. I've liked it. Back here behind, you can actually see, usually this opens up if I'm strong enough. There's the reel for it. So that's a cool setup. Um, you can pull that out and uh, you can. I already have your hose in there, so I thought that was a cool idea, cool concept. Electric waste valves, that's what those are, so not having to uh, deal with a valve down there crawling and getting to it. Battery disconnect, outside outlet, motion sensor light in here. And then, of course, here's where this comes through. They've got this set up where you can also use this um, as a water hose, so I thought that was a cool concept to reverse it. And then, let's see. Oh, yeah, the new lipper control pad. This is completely different. Um, you're going to start to see that, I'm sure, on various products as that makes its way into the mainstream. Side cameras, see that there? And here's the front storage. There's a motion sensor, there it goes, motion sensor light. Absolutely massive inverter. Um, solar controllers, you can see those there as well mounted. I like the way this is easy to get to. Um, during PDI, like I said, when we sold the other one, uh, it's just easy to check stuff because you can get to it. It's not tucked away in some terribly difficult compartment and then i want to show you this right here that latch is up there to they were discover brand yeah discover lithium batteries there's your hydraulic pump there's your uh inverter 5500 watt inverter but again that's just easy to get to that stuff sometimes they put these things and you're like man i can't even how am i supposed to work on that so i appreciate that more ride pin box to reduce chucking and now we're back to where we started at the front 2025 400th dakota toy hauler fifth wheel um the link in the description goes to our website there will be pictures there like i said i forgot some things i know there's there's pictures there description pricing or you can call text or email anybody in my family again on behalf of my family and our dealership arrowhead camper sales thank you for watching have a great day